Hi, this is Tim. I read the Tesla forums and I see a lot of confusion on how to install a 620 power outlet for faster charging than a standard 120 volt outlet if people can't do a 1450. And I'm going to show you how to do it here quickly and easily. This is my 620 outlet I put uh, in the outer room of my house. Before I had my driveway, I had to park alongside the house to charge the car. And it was either use a 15-foot extension cord to charge off of my oven outlet's 1450, which was impractical, or do this. And so I eventually put in a 620 outlet here, and I'll show you what I have downstairs for the wiring to uh, do it right. So here's what you need to know. A 620 is 240 volts at, at uh, 20 amps. It'll get you 15 miles an hour charging on a Model 3 but you have to have its own separate dedicated circuit. You cannot run it with other standard outlets because you'll burn something up to stop meant to take 240 volts. Here's what I have in here. This is the uh, Cutler Hammer CH panel. I have a 240 volt 20 amp breaker here and it has its own wire for it that has been labeled 620 240 volt. I ran this wire specifically for the 620 outlet. And along the way, I marked it several times. 620, 240 volt. So it's not getting confused with other wires in the house. And again over here, as I put it in here, 620, 240 volt. Comes through the basement and goes through and up and out to the uh, outlet. That outlet is the only thing on this circuit. There's the outlet, the wire, and this breaker, and that's it. And that's really all you need to know. It has to have its own dedicated circuit, and it's very easy to install. This is the type of wire you'll use for it. Standard 12-2 Romex. It can take 20 amps with no problem. And 240 volts is also no problem for it. And there you go. If you can understand that, then you can install your own 620 outlet and get 15 miles an hour charging in your Model 3. And these are your materials to install this. A 240 volt circuit breaker, some 12 gauge two strand Romex wire, and the 620 outlet which you already saw upstairs. The material cost is less than a hundred dollars. Could be quite a bit less than a hundred dollars. Do not let your electrician tell you it's going to cost a thousand dollars to put this in. He's ripping you off big time. Two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks, that's about it depending how many walls he has to go through and how far it's going to run.